Oh, yes. Uh, this is something people talk about a lot, actually, um, because there's quite a few people who have died in Antarctica over the last hundred years. Um, even um, Ninnis, the guy who fell down the crevasse, uh, Mawson's other companion, Mertz, um, and then uh, the man I mentioned right at the beginning, a, a guy called Scott of Antarctic, he died with four other men. And uh, there's many others as well. And they are all still there in Antarctica. And uh, they're buried, and over the years they've been buried and buried by more snow. They're still there somewhere. They won't have aged. They are exactly the same as they were when they died a hundred years ago. And people sometimes talk about seeing if they can find them, but it's an awfully big place. <laughs> I think if ever if that ever did happen, it would be more by luck, really, than anything else. But no, we're not actively going to look for him or anyone else for that matter. Um, but you never know. One day, maybe someone will find one of these bodies, and uh, that will be uh, that will be quite an amazing uh, piece of history coming back to light. <laughs>